I mean, this would be perfect for like commercial shoots, for like movies. This is something I can honestly tell you, I've never seen anything close to like this. Guys, we are in Fair Oaks, California. This is Sacramento Real Estate, where we bring you all the most amazing luxury properties in the area. And today is no different. We're in Fair Oaks. I'm always talking about how Fair Oaks has some of these crazy cool houses. Well, we got an amazing house. Here it is, over a million dollars, four bedroom, three baths, over 3,300 square feet. But that doesn't even sum it up. This is a combination of Japanese and Scandinavian blended together. It's pretty awesome, and we're gonna go take a look at it right now. Hey, what's up, Nan? How's it going? What's man? going on? How are you? This is pretty awesome. Thanks, man. Welcome. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about this whole Japanese Scandinavian concept. Okay, so it's called Japandi. If you guys don't know what that is, I didn't know either. Uh, but we hired a designer from Los Angeles. He came down, came up with the concept of Japanese and Scandinavian aesthetics, simplicity, everything's low profile, simple, neat. As you guys can see, it kind of carries through the entire house. Really, really beautiful. And like what you guys have done, just like with the floors, with the aesthetic, I mean, this is like something you do not see in Sacramento, let alone Fair Oaks. I mean, this is like a one-off. Which, you know, in Sacramento, it's, it's, it's a hard thing to find something that's completely, you, know, you got ranch style homes, you got the new track homes being built, but like this is unique. So as far as the concept for this, how did you come up with that? Okay, so the house itself, as you guys can see, everything was here. The bones were here. We just came in and touched every area of the house itself. I'll give you an example. You see these beams here? They, these were covered by like 20 layers of paint, okay? So we spent three months resurfacing so that it shows the original texture and the color. And this wood is from Donner's Pass. Uh, these were the original railroad wood that they hauled down from their railroads and repurposed it to be a part of the skeleton of the house. And you guys can see these beams carry all the way to the outside of the house. I mean, it creates the main bone and structure, which is just beautiful. So when we purchased it, everything, it looks like there were 20 different people that owned it. Everybody put in their own touch and it was just very messy. Uh, when we came in, we just want to make everything uniform, beautiful, natural, very uh, spy inspired. And as you guys can see, it's micro cement where we're stepping on and we have Roman clay on different parts of the wall. All these brick were original. We believe this is an undocumented uh, Frank Lloyd Wright property uh, as far as we can trace back. So This is pretty, I mean, this is pretty cool because you got the open concept. You yeah. definitely have that kind of spa feel to it. And the thing that I love also is, because a lot of people probably look at a pool in the middle of a house and say to themselves like, do you smell the chlorine? Is it kind of like one of those right, things? Right. But you don't. I mean, this is completely like, Cool, not only this, like even if you're not gonna use a pool to swim in, mm -hmm. the aesthetic of having like a water element kind of close to you kind of gives that kind of soothing, relaxing kind of energy. Like there's no moisture in here either. Did you notice that, not right? No moisture, it doesn't smell. And if you look at the skylight and the pool, I mean, it just it complements so well. This house would probably be perfect for like an Airbnb or something as well too. Yeah, yeah, uh, funny you mentioned that because we are, running a short-term rental business out of this, uh, I believe that the rule of thumb is that we have to stay here for six months out of the year. So we're gonna do that six months out of the year. The other six months, we're going to rent it out on short-term rental so that other people may experience this as well. Because, you know, something this beautiful, I feel like it should be shared with the community and not kept to oneself. I mean, this would be perfect for like commercial shoots, for like movies. I mean, this is something I've not seen. I've seen some cool stuff in Sacramento, like the Grand Bay stuff and everything too. Yeah. But this is something I can honestly tell you, I've never seen anything close to like this. Oh wow, appreciate with, that. With also the natural light coming in too, this is a really, really cool property. I mean, you do a lot of videos a and lot. you go through a lot of houses. And so for you to say something like that, you know, really appreciate that. This is my favorite style of hot tub, period. I love this. This is so cool. This like, you know, cause you see the Costco hot tubs. I mean, they're, they're pretty Oh cool. man. Yeah. This is like unique stuff. You got the shower over there, skylights. 
this is pretty cool. I mean, who's gonna have a Japanese Scandinavian fused house? <laughs> Custom, oh, built, okay. all right? Uh, everything that looks nice, it took us a lot of, this actually took close to almost a year. Our budget, we went over our budget by almost double. But at the end, you know, I was talking, I was so, you know, I was talking to designers. I'm like, here's the budget, this is what we're gonna do. And uh, when we kept on going over, they kept on presenting me with these ideas. I'm like, man, we gotta go with a better idea. Every single time they presented something better, we went with it. And then from now on, I'm no longer in charge of budgets. Not anymore. You're like, I can't see it. I can't, I can't, I can't see it. If I see it, I have to approve it. It's just. Well, a lot of you guys don't know this, but right now they're setting up for an open house. This isn't an open house, it's a broker tour. And this is gonna be with the who's who of Sacramento coming here. It's gonna be kind of like velvet rope, standing room only type stuff. So it's gonna be pretty crazy. We're glad we got in here ahead of time. Exclusive tour for you guys. I appreciate it. Like I said, guys, like and subscribe. This is the master bedroom. Roman clay, I mean like, just look at that. I just feel like it's a work of art. I would totally, live here 365 days out of the week, you know, 360 days out of the year. One of the things that's probably not gonna translate in the video is the textures. This house has so many different like textures. In the age we live in of like kind of cheap replica type stuff, you know what I mean? People go for like the stuff that's plastic or whatnot. This is like elements. This is like, you know, yeah, everything yeah, right. textured out. And I encourage anyone who comes, who's thinking about a house to come and feel this house. I know it sounds weird, but the textures and everything too. Gotta feel it. Really unique. All right, so originally when we purchased the house, this was always meant to be a permanent residence, also for short-term rental, uh, because I don't stay here in Sacramento most of the time. And so why I'm here, I would like to stay here. Now, once we finished the projects, we realized that the market's changing, and what we want to do is test the market to see if potentially we can get a premium on this property. And that's where Mike comes in, all right? 007. What is up, Mike? How's it going, man? Tell me a little bit about this property and about you. All right, my name is Michael Lim with Kinetic Real Estate and Kaizen Capital. Uh, we're here at the Place of Zen, uh, listed at 1.499888. And yeah, it's an amazing property. How many beds, how many baths are we talking about? We have four bedrooms, three baths. We have an indoor pool, spa area, and a sauna as well. All right, let's take a look a little bit at the backyard. Nan showed us about the, the fusion that you guys have going here. Yeah. The amazing aesthetic, but let's talk a little bit about the grounds as well too, because people love being inside, but they also have to have that outdoor feel where they can kind of hang out and chill with their friends. So you'll be greeted uh, with a large space that you can you know, host your family gatherings with. Uh, and we have a two-story deck where you can have you know, gatherings. And it flows with the house too, which is nice. The aesthetic out here also complements the house, which I love. This is really, really nice though, man. I mean, you got the views here, you got palm trees galore. You got the nice house down there. But this is a nice place to kind of chill out, meditate maybe. Throw something, up, throw a grill up here if you feel like it, but it just has that zen feel to it. Well, Mike, thanks so much for showcasing this listing. Good luck, and I'll see you later at the broker open, my friend. Okay, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this amazing property tour. And again, thank you, Kaizen Capital, for letting us showcase this property. This is Fair Oaks, California. Like I said, there are some amazing, unique houses in Fair Oaks. So if Fair Oaks isn't on your radar, it can be and it should be. This is Sacramento Real Estate showcasing you the best luxury properties in the area. Again, guys, this is Mark. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next video.